This is day one of starting our homemade starter. We're gonna do 20 grams of flour. A little bit more is okay. Mixed with 20 grams of water. And we're just gonna mix it. And we're just gonna let this sit out on our counter. And we're gonna feed it every night until it becomes a healthy, active starter. And that's it. That is all you do. And you just let this sit out covered on your counter. And that's it. See you guys tomorrow night. All right, just mixed two tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of water. This is step one in making your own starter. I just did this two seconds ago. So this is what it looks like at the very beginning. And then you just cover with a cloth and you let sit it out on your counter until it starts bubbling. And then we'll go to step two. All right. So this is our starter that we started last night. It's been sitting for 24 hours. So now I'm going to feed it. it. Has a little bit of bubbles. So I'm going to put it all in here. About 36 grams. Zero it out. Now I do. 36 grams of water. and mixed. Zero out again. Measure out 36 grams of flour. All right. And since I'm making this starter from scratch, I want to get it, you know, as exact as possible. So I know where I went wrong in the process if I do. And we'll just stir that up. And we'll feed it again tomorrow. And we cannot wait till this becomes a nice, healthy, active starter. All we did was flour and water and let it sit out. All right, we'll see you back for day three. All right, day three of making of this starter from scratch. This is just flour and water, day three. It finally has a little bit of a sour smell, so we're gonna go ahead and keep feeding it. I'm gonna dump it all in here. It's about 85 grams. And then I'm gonna jump in, clear out my scale, dump in 85 grams of water. All right? Clear that out, clean my, I just give it a nice mix. Still dense, it doesn't have that light, fluffy, porous texture of a good starter yet. Still working. Still working on itself. So. Gonna be bath time soon, guys. Eighty grams of flour. Yep. So I just mixed the flour in. Nice. Back 
in the jar. And tomorrow, I think we'll have a nice bubbly starter, probably double in size. We will let you know. All right, see you tomorrow for day four. All right, here we are, day four. Day four of our build your starter from scratch. And look at this. This is just flour and water sitting out on the counter. This is day four. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna measure out 20 grams. So we're gonna cut it. think it's 20 grams is more than it really is. Okay, so it's 69 grams. And then we're going to mix it with and then we're going to mix it with 70 grams of water and 70 grams of flour. So zero it out. If you'll see the bubbles and that's your starter your yeast working fermenting Remove all the sugars all mixed together so now 70 grams of flour Keep doing this every day until your starter starts doubling in size every eight hours. See this? It's not doubling yet. It's, it's bubbling, but not doubling. And when it starts doubling every eight hours, that means you have a healthy, active starter. And right now the starter is starting to look and feel like my old starter. So, now I'm on the right track. It's my first time doing this. We're all on this journey together. It smells good. There's no weird deposits. It smells good. I want it to smell like glue. That's not good. I want it to smell earthy, kind of like dough. So if it smells like glue, start again. Okay, I've rinsed out my jar. Put my four day starter in. Here's to doubling. I'm ready to bake some bread. 
That's for sure. Just putting this cloth over it so the natural yeast can go ahead and get in and out. And see you on day five. All right, day five of starter from scratch. Still got the bubbles. Um, and it smells, it smells different than my old starter. It doesn't smell bad. It still smells like an earthy. It doesn't smell like acetone, but it just smells a little different. So I'm gonna do different ratios tonight. Tonight I'm gonna do um, 20 grams of starter, 100 grams of flour, 100 grams of water. And that's a one five to five ratio. And hopefully, I think it's just eating up the food too quickly and it's just needs more food and definitely more time because it's not getting those big bubbles yet. So that's what we're gonna do for day five. Stop. All right, so we're just getting 20 grams in here, which is not a lot. bit more and then we're gonna mix it with 20 grams no, 100 grams of flour 100 grams of water that up. See, a nice healthy starter will dissolve pretty, pretty well into the water. So this just needs some more time, some more love. healthy starter. It's just smell like flour. It shouldn't have any off-putting smells. It doesn't smell off-putting. It's just it doesn't have it, it's a little bit of a sweet smell. So we're just gonna keep playing with it. You guys are watching it in real time. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna clean this out, put this in here and let it sit for another 24 hours. And we'll see you back here for day six, making starter from scratch. All right, guys. Good night. I just can't believe that we are on day six of these starters. I'm doing a little experiment now. This is my old starter that I've revived back to life, and this is the new starter that we're doing from scratch. Still just has the smell to it I don't love. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good either. I'm still gonna do the 155 on this one. And the one that I'm reviving. Oh, see, this smells since it was in the fridge for about three weeks without being fed, and I just fed it one time. It's already pretty bubbly, but it definitely has the, the acetone smell. So I definitely still need to feed that a couple more times, but it still smells.
right, here we are feeding day six. Old starter, the new starter. We wanna get that new starter smelling like the old starter. So we're gonna do the 155. So I'm gonna do 20 grams starter, uh, 100 grams of flour, 100 grams of water. This has a harder time mixing in. It's not dissolving as well. When I mix that one, it just dissolves right away. It's crazy. Giving it that uh, 155, I think it's helping it because it's helping it along, giving it more food, more time to ferment those yeast active. so much love these last six days okay 60 grams of flour oh. all right see you guys on day seven I really hope that the starter from scratch you know kicks into gear this 155 method two days in a row I hope makes a big difference and not still have my old starter which is delicious and has like the best sourdough so I know my husband won't be too upset that I'm not going to use it anymore <laughs> but really want the new starter to kick in and make some delicious bread so see you guys tomorrow all right day seven we've got new starter and this old starter that I just had to reawaken with two feedings. And as you can see, it's already doubled its size. It's bubbly, it's active, it's ready to go. This one is bubbly and active. It hasn't quite doubled, but it smells, oh, so much better, so much better. So what I found is the 155 feeding the last two times has really helped with that. 
and this is still the 111, which I've always done, and that definitely works. So this is going to be a great experiment to see how the breads turn out, and I'm going to do a taste test and see which one my husband can taste as the new or the old starter sourdough bread. So we're just going to run through making sourdough bread. So I'm just gonna go quick. I've already done the tutorial on sourdough bread, so I'll link that in the show notes. But for now, I'm just gonna go through um, my process.
starter bread. So we're just forming a dough. Come here, baby. You want it? I'm just going to cut a little bit off because I think I'm going to make something. I'm going to make something for snow day. So I'm going to have a small loaf. Remember, you can use some of your dough to make little donuts. I'll tell you how these turn out. A little side project from the starter experiment. the bread we're putting it in the Dutch oven put the top on got my son Lachlan here helping out Last part, he wants his bread I preheated the oven for 50 don't touch that that's hot Lachlan I've got my sling which is just made of parchment paper now this is the this is the new starter dough that we're going to be putting in. I'm going to score it. Ooh, that's nice and tight. Let all those bubbles pop out. Keep that away from my kids. Don't want them to touch it. Pop that in just like that. Cover it. Cover it, 20 minutes in the oven. And we'll see you guys in about an hour. <laughs> All right, babe, are you ready to do the taste test? I'm ready. So we got, what kind of movie doing here? We have our original starter made sourdough bread loaf and the new starter that we made from scratch from scratch it was fed and fed and fed for seven days cooked on the eighth so okay all right we'll I'm see i'm ready <laughs> Whoa. 
Yeah. Your crumb Ooh. is flying everywhere. Yes, that's why they call it the crumb. No, I won't do wonder why they call it the crumb. Now this is a blind taste test because I don't know which one's which. You don't. So. All you can do is look at this and see and wonder. Butter. Not for the first taste test. Okay. And let's show them how it looks. All right, very similar looking. How's the smell? This one smells a little more sourdoughy. Oh. How does that one taste? Mm, cool. I like it. You want some water or anything? Mm. Similar. Oh, really? It's not like a knock your socks off difference. They both need, I I think they did rise very well. That's the crust is a little more crunchy. Okay. So I say this is our starter we got originally and that's the one you made. Interesting. So this is our old starter and this is our new starter? Or this is, is our new you, starter and that's our Are you asking me? Which one do you think is... Like this is the King Arthur one. Okay. This is the one you made from scratch. Okay. Wrong. This is our new that we've just made. Really? And this is our old. I was wrong. You were wrong. <laughs> so, well. the new starter is just as good as starter we got online from the King Arthur Flower Company. Well. However long ago. That's amazing. So it really just turned into our own because it was the yeast in our home. Well, this is fantastic. So there you go, guys. Thank you. We'll put that tutorial up. Let us know if you have any questions. Enjoy your bread. <laughs>